Oh, hi guys, we're in the last uh, video of this course. I hope you enjoy it. I hope your eyes are starting to work better and you have the strength and endurance to maintain your focus and keeping your eyes on the ball. If you were blinking, you're not blinking anymore and you can see the ball better. You're starting to have some separation between your your trunk and your head and your eyes. And you can ab you're able to shift the focus between an object very close to you and an object far away from you in a quicker manner with both eyes. And because I'm assuming that you did all these exercises for 20 minutes with sets of one minute and resting one minute every day, by now you should be able to do that. So what happened now is this, you will receive in the mail a little sticker like this, as you see. This sticker, you will put it on your racket, on the side of your racket. And what you do is, Every time they're playing matches between points, you will focus on the sticker and create the three-dimensional pipe that we see when we merge both of the circles together. Why do we do this? Is because when we do this, since it's a, a exercise that requires a lot of coordination for the brain because uh, the eye muscles is fine, it's a fine motor skill, your body cannot think or do anything else. It just focuses on this skill. Just by doing that, you can calm your mind down and take the mind away from the points that you've been playing or the mistake you have been making. So as you do this through the points, you'll learn to use your right side of your brain, which is the one that doesn't think, and shut down the left uh, side of your brain, which is the one that thinks too much, okay? And for playing tennis or sports in general, we know that thinking it's the worst thing that you can do. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this course. I hope you use this. And one more thing, just to let you to let you go and give you the last advice, is that this. Many, many, many years ago, the only thing that people will do is will be to look at the racket in order for them to focus and come down. The problem is that looking at the racket between the points is not a difficult skill. It doesn't really require focus. And how do we control the body or our mind is with the body. We don't want to try to control ourselves. We want to try to control the body, which will force you to control the mind. Okay? I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.